Is it really worth it to go to this limit, to go over the edge, to go insane in the membrane? Ladies and gentlemen, indie wrestler suffers a cracked skull and hearing loss after a botched 450 maneuver to the outside of the ring. Now, we know in professional wrestling, there's risks. We know there is mistakes. We know that sometimes things don't go according to plan. And that is why I wish that wrestling would focus more on storylines and strategies and angles and promos. I mean, it's okay, I guess, to hit these kind of maneuvers to a certain degree to get a pop, to get over. But to do this kind of thing in an indie scene, and I know you're trying to get recognized. I know you're trying to get seen. I know you want to be believed. I know you don't want to be in between. I know you want to be at the top level. But this indie wrestler, and this is hit home to me because the guy's name literally is, uh, if I, Sean Phoenix, okay? Sean Phoenix cracks his skull on a botched 450. Now, you know, here's the thing now. Wrestling Inc. reporting, remember, this is the brash and brazen. I will never be mistaken or overtaken. I'm Sean View Entertainment. Share my videos on Facebook and Twitter. All right, now this video, actually, I think this maneuver happened in October, but it's just now getting viral and now just getting out there now. Suffering multiple injuries after a botched 450 splash on a table on the floor ended badly back in October. Phoenix was wrestling a tag team match with Dan Hooven or Hoven against the uh, culmination of IWC's International Wrestling Cartel event back in October in Pittsburgh when the incident happened. Video from the incident can be seen online. The botched move has resurfaced this week after Shane Hurricane Helms tweeted about it. Phoenix responded and noted that he broke his skull and was bleeding from the brain, but he was released from the hospital six days later. Phoenix also made his wrestling debut almost three years ago, has not returned to the ring yet, he noted on Twitter that he was also suffering a permanent loss of hearing in his left ear during the match. He told fans on social media that he didn't remember all of what happened. He wrote, I am an adrenaline junkie, an adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline junkie. I mean, I, you gotta understand, I've watched this back, this video back five or six times. I'm traumatized, and I'm not even the guy in the maneuver. I'm not even the guy performing. I'm not even the guy wrestling. So, for me to get a little bit, you know, messed up and not get reading the words right and not getting the mannerisms correct, you can kind of, you know, understand because, I mean, I just cannot believe what this guy withstood and what he, what, what he would stand and what he went through and just his wrestling career. The guy's never, listen, even if he comes back to wrestling, which I think would be a bad move, which would be probably a, a, a just don't even think about it. Don't. But if you if that's your dream, if you want to perform, if you want to be under those bright lights, and if you want to keep putting your life at risk, this is what happens. And that is why, again, you know, you can have all these high spots and all these you know prolific spots, and you can you know amaze the fans and amaze the crowd, but. Literally, you got to think about yourself. You got to think about your health. You got to think about your well being. You got to think about your family. You got to think about what you're putting yourself through. You got to think is it going to affect everyone else? Because at the end of the day, yes, you are performing for the fans. The fans are paying to see you. But at what cost and at what rate is it really ultimately worth it to do something quite like this? Do you really have to go over the top in the extreme? To do something like this. Viewers and subscribers. A very scary spot. Something that. I, I mean. It, it, it resembled that of a car wreck. I mean. You could tell that something was very wrong. Very fast. As soon as he performed the maneuver. And if this. This guy's lucky to be alive. Let, let's call a spade a spade. Let, let's be honest. This guy is lucky to be alive. Viewers and subscribers. This ain't no LIE. The brash and brazen. Sean Vintainment tells it like it is. There ain't no mistaken, consistent, prolific, and dedicated. Your comments and your opinions, and should these indie wrestlers go to this extent? Should these indie wrestlers go to the extreme to set themselves apart from the extreme to get themselves over? And this guy hasn't even made it to NXT or ROH. I mean, maybe he has performed for them. I don't know. I know he's performed for many entities and companies, but I mean... Yeah, oh, oh, wow, the video went viral. The video's popular. Yeah, you almost killed yourself.
you, you almost ended your life. Viewers, subscribers, it is very, it's, it's, it's a very hard video to watch. It's probably one of the most traumatizing, hardest, debilitating videos I have seen in some time. And you're going to get lost if you see it because you just want to keep seeing it over and over again. And as horrible and as bad and as sad and as tragic as this is, this is the levels and lengths that wrestles will go to in 2018 to impress. And it shouldn't be like that. Sure, you got to have your high spots. Sure, you got to have your moments. Sure, you want to set yourself apart from the rest. But to go to this extent, and even though it was a mistake, I'm sure it wasn't meant to go this way. I'm sure it wasn't planned to happen this way. But you got to have a plan. You got to have a plan A, B, C, D, all the way to G, or even Z, if you're a pro wrestler, if something like this transpires. It is absolutely catastrophic. More to come from the brash one. Your comments, your opinions. Subscribe.